Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the European Crossover Webinar. And let's go and take a look at the Euro, which is actually dipped down a little bit further, come close to actually down to 1865, which probably is not too far away from where we have our bias chart support. You can see a nice little reversal here against that 120. I know we had, uh, I think our buy chart support was 1994, if I remember correctly, but uh, same pretty good move there. Also including the cable, if we look on daily also on this, same type of setup here, opening the door for a pullback. Probably not a bad move uh, that we've seen. Uh, certainly, I don't think it's been impressive on the dollar index. When you look at it on a daily, considering how oversold it is, the look at look at the the look at the hammer. I mean, it's barely even a little. We want to call it like a a micro hammer. You know what I mean? You would have expected, considering how far we've fallen. Look at that. You would expect a real whip back, and we have not seen that at all. I mean, just a little bit here, uh, but we are seeing, like I said, here against the euro and the cable pair back. And we've actually seen a little bit of follow through. And taking a look here on the indices, it's been nuts so here. I mean, I can't even believe some of these moves here. We actually saw here, and actually, I. Took a scalp short in Asia, and uh, fortunately I covered. I was actually going to go and let the um, let the market just run and just put a stop above the highs, um, which wouldn't have been good. I guess let me see, right there. Um, I was thinking if I I almost accidentally left the stop in, and I would end up gotten long. I guess it was a twenty four twenty three. Well, that would be kind of like flattish if I, because I almost I exited out, but then I almost forgot about the stop. I canceled that out, but we saw this dip back. But then I saw, wait a minute, all it's doing is coming back and tagging the same day VWAP. And um, we took a dip. I thought, I'll just get out. And I almost went back in. And I said, no, I'll just wait and let it wait till in, in Asia or wherever. I just didn't think that we'd come right, right, right back up here again. This is um, unbelievable. I think, honestly, I think it's like in cuckoo land, really. I mean, it's just, this is crazy. You know, I mean, the the movie scene, look over here on, and the NASDAQ. I mean, it's just bananas. And um, when we'll get a correction, you almost have to wonder. You almost have to wonder. But uh, if there's little moves you can see right here, uh, you get a little dip back. But it doesn't last for very long at all. It doesn't. Um, I was also looking at different times of the Asian session, Europe, i.e. also European session. But there wasn't anything to say, oh, at this time, I've seen certain highs being put in early Asia, some that have been put in late Asia. Uh, so I guess that was a good thing in the sense that I just thought, no, nah, you know, I'm not going to let it ride. I'll just t take it out for just a little bit. And uh, like I said, I almost had it back. I mean, it, it didn't, but yesterday was frustrating. I actually made some, um, you know, decent gains scalping and then only to see it. I thought we were going to see a dip late in the session and we did not see that. We ended up having to go on and cover and take that ultimately for a loss, which was smart then. I thought to myself, no, you know, just don't want to have to worry about this thing doing something like gap it up, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I did not keep it because then we even continue to give a move further. And obviously right now the rest is history. But you haven't think about it. Look at these moves. I mean, this is like, I mean, just let's, let's just say from just the morning, you see what I'm saying? This is, and you would think, oh, this is after a big oversold market. Look at that. It just continues. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Um, Taking a look at where uh, gold is at. We already tagged 2000. Remember that 1986 was so important. This is on uh, the Jackson Hall speech. Come back down, came back and tested, did back down again. We got above it and we've rotated a little bit lower. So it's even starting to pull back. Although this has quite a lot more to do with the dollar starting to come back a little bit. 
Uh, take a look at news. Oh, we have producer prices at the top of the hour, and then we do have uh, ADP at 815. This is another concern. I thought about letting it ride at the time of that. You know what, tomorrow's ADP, because I thought, I really thought I'd go, you know, maybe we'll, after this big move and uh, a lot of people were forced to cover, and maybe we'll go and see this market then get back. And I thought, you know what, also with ADP, who knows how they're going to want to interpret it. So once again, I'm glad I ended up just getting out of it. <laughs> for a small gain, but um, we do have ADP and we have uh, ISM, New York ISM uh, at 945 Eastern and durable goods and factory orders uh, at 10 a.m. Eastern. But these markets are just bananas. I mean, it's crazy. I, I can't even believe it. Uh, actually, we'll go and quick take a quick look at the equities here's on the daily look at this now i don't know how it's going to trade i mean but boy we're out there in an island look at that literally an island uh in apple uh, microsoft same thing here but there isn't anything to say oh now we're starting to see some kind of reversal or anything like that but um oh, look at these dailies look at this nvidia just is just completely non-stop And you have to wonder how much longer it can go and continue. And then Netflix, um, look how we turned around and jumped and closed above this 549, which is key. Oh, uh, with that, let's just go on and quickly take a look at the news. And we get on to the analysis. Dollar blew by upbeat U.S. economic data and Aussie falls. The dollar bounced off the two-year lows on Wednesday as U.S. data pointed to the manufacturing activity while the year retreated from its highest level since 2018 amid profit taken. Economic data published on Tuesday showed U.S. manufacturing activity accelerated to nearly a two-year high in August and a surge in new orders with a new reading from the Institute for Supply Management at the highest level since November of 2018. Alice said that an increase in part of the pent-up demand contributed to the rise in the greenback. In hindsight, it was a strong data said uh, Rakia, uh, Takeba, uh, and, but when you get closely into the 18 industries, not all of them uh, registered growth and employment. There wasn't uh, an improvement in employment overall. Separate data from the Australian Bureau of Statistics showed Australia suffered its worst economic fall in quarterly, uh, quarterly domestic product on record last quarter. Uh, the greenback has been declining last week, since last week, down about 1% after the Federal Reserve announced it would force more of an average inflation um, and higher employment with the Fed's policy having to believe it to keep the U.S. interest rates lower for longer. That was reinforced on Tuesday as Fed Governor Leo, uh, Leo, Leo Brainerd uh, said the central bank would need to roll out stimulus to keep up with the money. Also supporting the rebound, White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows said uh, Senate Republicans are likely to bring up a targeted uh, COVID relief. And amid the antipodean currencies, New Zealand dollar added three tenths to sixty-seven eighty. Leave it at that. Let's just go and move into the analysis. Not waste any further time.
If you take a look here with the Euro, The euro uh, rallied to 120 before pairing back 70 pips. The pair may be amenable to a pullback for new buyers. Support will be 1838 with resistance at 1960. So uh, we still have a little ways to go. 1838. And 1960. Let's go move into the cable. Cable posted a gravestone doji with Tuesday's close. Resistance will be 34.58. We support it 33.45. We're right there right now. You can see that this level, which um, 33.45. And moving on to the Aussie. So the Aussie posted also a gravestone doji on Tuesday, suggesting a pullback to refresh maybe in the offing. Resistance remains a major weekly level at 74.27, with support at 72.45. So we have more room to fall, but you can see here. And 74.27, that key weekly level is above, which you already had. And And support seventy two forty five. On to the Kiwi. The week, uh, QB closed uh, at the buy chart resistance of 67.58 on Tuesday, suggesting it can stretch a bit higher. Resistance will be 67.88 with support of 67.03. Well, looks like we made it up there just about. Let me see, 67.03 and 67.88, and the high has been 67.88 or right there, 67.87, and we had 67.88. And sixty seven oh four. On to the dollar can. Okay, the dollar CAD made a dip to 29.82, which is a major weekly support level with a low of 29.93. Before mounting a charge to nearly 31 even, support will be 30.25 with resistance at 30.75. We've just, or there not, we may have moved just a bit higher, but uh, resistance is 30.75 with support at 30.25.
Going on to the peso. Dollar peso language near its low. Support remains 2168 with resistance at 2198. So no changes here. 2168, 2198 on the upside. Let's just go moving to the dollar yen. I think this was the same too. Dolly in, uh, yep, it's the same. We kept it the same, which is 592 and 537. We are pushing a little bit higher, but we'll still keep it to 592. Well, it might be able to push a little bit higher today, but we're keeping it the same. 592, 637, we are pushing a little bit above that, um, but we'll keep it at that. Well, you can see right here, here's a level there, right there. So we will give it the benefit of the doubt there, which is right there. 610. So we'll just move this up to 610. This is not a whole lot higher, but essentially the same thing. And onto the Dixie. I don't think this is very impressive at all whatsoever. You look at this daily chart. Look at that. And that's all we could do. I mean, we are seeing a little bit more of a follow through today, but it is not impressive whatsoever. If you consider, look how far we've fallen. I mean, that's what I'm saying. We could easily come right back down and test. So you have to watch out with the uh, employment data will be coming out over the next couple of days. We could just jump, fall right back down again. Um, Donald exposed to a small hammer on Tuesday, confluence with major trend line. The low can still be challenged as despite the extreme oversold condition, the rally off the lows was tepid or has been tepid. Resistance will be 93 with support at With that, we'll go into the cross rates. And you can see here, we've even tested up here to the 72 area here. Let's see what we had for the resistance, which we had. 7182, but you can see it's actually come all the way up here to 7195. We had 7182. We have backed off, got the 7165, and we'll keep the 7182. If you look at it, that's actually the high from yesterday, right at 7182. We'll keep that. We we'll support 7126. So that will remain the same. On to the Euro yen. Similar here as we pair back. Um, and we had 2683. Um, here's 2650. Resistance at this point going forward would be this 26, huge 2648. And support, well now, if we are gonna see a pullback, we'll take a look at a two hour. Right there, see it coming across? It's gonna be 25.72. I can't believe these indices. This is bananas, we're on a, or just a, a few ticks away from our highs again in NASDAQ. 
And I'm so glad that I covered that for a small gain. Holy smokes, it just would really got stopped that and still be in, I don't know if in awe or what. It's just like nuts. Let's go into the Euro odd. Well, we have really rotated lower here. Um, we're looking for a potential move down here at 60.65. We're 61.50 right now at the lower end. So we'll keep the 60.65. The only difference is on the upper end, 62.09. It's going to be the resistance. And on to the Euro Kiwi. We will continue to weaken here. We had 75.85, we've already punched below that. You can see right there, this marker right there is where they can potentially go to, although that's a bit oversold, but that would be where they'd find support, 75.06. With resistance now, Seventy six twenty five. And on to the LCN. So we're still trying to press the upside. Um, we had 78.11. I'm going to keep that 78.11 um, here. We've already been able to press up a little bit higher, but we'll keep the 78.11 with support. Look on the two hour chart. Let's give it a little bit of room. I don't know if it'll break much lower today, but if we are going to move lower, that would be support 77.60. And on to the guppy. Nice little graystone type doji. Uh, we're going to actually go with the high right there, which is 42.05 as our bias chart resistance. And potentially we can work lower and you can see where they, where they can get to. Um, if we can, we get all the way down here to 40.54, um, but immediate resistance will be 40.92. 40.92. And lastly, let's go to the strong nod. You can see the resistance coming in right here. It's going to be right there. Which will be eighty two twenty eight. I think we may have already had that for yesterday. Oh, we had eighty two twenty four, so it's eighty two twenty eight. Four pip difference, and looks like today the high was eighty two eighteen, and then on the downside, keeping it tight, it's going to be eighty one twelve. And here we are with uh, your dollar having it drop down to 1870. And remember, we have support at 1838. We had a pretty good little move down here.
Once again, we'll take a look at the indices before we bow out. This is just bananas to me. Look at this. It's just nonstop. This is on a five minute. Look, there's been some, and it's been jagged. If you look at it, look, you see here, we jump up here, we pull back down, and you get this little hammer. But look, they turn around and come dip right back. Well, I guess they held right there. You can see that. It can actually, I don't know how much consequence it has right there, but you can see that right there. Next wave right there. We jump up, look, and this shot, you can see the way it's trading, I guess it's fairly light volume, which it is, look here, you see that? But look at that, it's just really jagged, not super jagged, but there's no flow. I mean, you can see, obviously, there's a trend kind of going hard, but you can see here, it's, they, looks like we got a potentially nice reversal here, not reversal, but, you know, set it first to pull back lower, and we drop down, and then we just kind of hold here. Then we go up here, then we finish down here. It's not like these are one-minute bars or five-minute bars. So you can see it's, you know, it just feels like, almost like we're really getting so stretched like look here at the 30 minute here you see how we're in this tight body you see that tight 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 and then we start to move a little bit higher get a little bit of a bar here it looks like we might pull back and then we start to lead uh lead back into the upside it's just been something else i don't know what to think of it like i said because when you look at the individual equities they're taking off to the stars I've already mentioned about gold. Here's a move at the uh, Jackson Hall, uh, rally up to 1986, and then fall back down, back up here to challenge it, dip back. Then, of course, with the dollar breaking lower, it opened the door for us to test 2000. We're rotating low, and once again, I'm not sure when we take a look at equities how much further this can be sustained. I really don't. I mean, this is just like, you know, sometimes you get a market like, let's say lumber futures, and obviously there's good reason for lumber futures. They've more than double, blah, blah, blah. But this is across the board. I mean, these are, these moves, it's not just ongoing moves. Like, let's say it was just go Google, uh, which is pressed high. This is a good example. But you see ones like Apple, you know, basically gap in here, set, you know, we trade in here, we gap up even higher here. Similar, almost in a way to Microsoft, although it wasn't a gap. Look at this in Amazon. I mean, it's just like, look at that. And then Netflix, after it jumped up uh, to 549, remember that last week, came back down to 522. We're hanging around. It has an open opening to potentially could dip back. And we turn around and race and jump back above it. So it wasn't, you know, just, yeah, I almost have to wonder, like, I mean, how much further can this go on and move? I think you just have to be just patient. I mean, I myself can't just go long from here or keep or go from the long side. So, um, you know, sometimes I'll step in, but I think you have to be very careful how you step in. And um, it's just, like I said, it's a crazy environment. But anyway, that's all we have for today. Thanks for joining here on the European Crossover, and I'll get the uh, bias chart posted.